Viola Gregg Luisa. This woman was born on April 11, 1925. She was an important part of the civil rights movement because she was the only white woman that was murdered during this time. She also did some really important things, and I'll tell you about that. She was a mother of five children, and she was also a humanitarian universalist civil rights activist from Michigan. In 1965, she was 39 and decided to leave her family to participate in a march in Selma. At this time, she was also a member of the NAACP. Viola Loiso was so disturbed by the injustices around her. She took action after the event known as Bloody Sunday. This Sunday is known for when civil rights activists were beaten and abused by police in Selma on March 7, 1965. Martin Luther King Jr. encouraged Luiso to come to Selma, along with 25,000 other Americans. Luiso's husband tried to stop her, but she left. Many days and nights, she drove African Americans from Montgomery to Selma before she drove Leroy Moton, who was 19 and an African American activist. They realized that they were being followed by members of the KKK. They fired bullets. And and killed her, bringing a tragic end to her life. The members of the clan were caught, but only three went to jail. Leroy Moton survived by faking his death. Thanks to his quick thinking, Leroy Moton is still alive today. Many people say that Viola Loiso could have done much more with her life. She was a young woman and had much more to do. She could have saved Africans and Americans years of suffering. We're gonna change the world one day. One day they'll write about us. You'll see. By Biola Lueso. Thank you.